Okay, I'm making a video on the Galaxy Smart Tag. Now, I bought these and they seem to work very well. It does track uh, when people go around. Uh, I'm putting this on some equipment that I have. But I have an issue with them. Is that if on the program itself, if you think someone's following you, you can use the app to find this if this is going with the person. So if it's hooked up to their phone or somebody else's, you know, and it's going with the person, they can find this. And then after it's found in five minutes, they can turn on that, the audio. So then, then they hear the beep, they can find this. What I want to use these for is to track my equipment that I have. So if it becomes missing, I want it to be able to know where it's at. I don't want them to find my tag because if they find my tag, you know, the system, it's not, it's not gonna work for me. You know, the best idea is to buy a $70 GPS and pay 15 to $20 a month service fee. But I hate to tell you, I can't afford that. So I have to go with this system. And it does work quite well. I'm impressed with the, you know, my testing I did. Except they got that stupid little piezo speaker in there that needs to go away. So I'm gonna tear this apart and I'm gonna disable the speaker. So it'll never beep again. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, to tear this apart, is a little tough for me because I got what they call the shakes. So it's a little tough. So you have to take the cover off to where that you got to replace the battery. It's got four little pieces on each side, and you gotta pop them out. Try it again. Four little pieces on each side, and you gotta pop the cover off. You heard it pop. This is the easiest one to come off. The other one is quite hard. Maybe I can use this one. There, that popped a little, until the other piece fell out. Okay. Still there. It's got another there. That's it. Here's the battery. And this is how you change the battery. It's very easy. The hole there, just take one of these, shove it in, pop the battery out. So the battery's out. Now here's the hard part. Right here, this case comes off from here. They have this glued down with just a little tiny bead of silicon in there. And it makes it really tough to get this separated. If they have an easier way, I don't know it. So I'm just going along the side. See if I can get anything break it loose first. Now, I never tried to take this one apart yet, so. It's coming off slowly but surely. It's tough to get anyway when they put that extra bead of silicon in it that just makes it even more. I could have cheated, but I didn't. 
take it off and then put it back and then take it off again. Ah, there it comes, finally. Almost there. I do have to admit the engineer is so tight it's unbelievable. There it comes. See they put a little extra little bead of silicon on it. You can see it right here where it makes it stick better. Okay that's what we're up to now. There's the board on the one side and that's where the battery goes here. When you yank the board off, you got to be careful of not damaging these pins up for the battery. But there are two screws. Okay, the screws are right here. Yeah, there's one screw. You can see how big that critter is. There's the second screw. right here. Now the board will lift off. Just make sure you lift it off straight. Now what we have here, this is the speaker. Is that little piece right there. And here's the contacts for the speaker. You got one contact here. You got one contact here. And these little pieces of brass or whatever what it is is stuck down to this pad of the PC board with looks like solder paste or something. So what you gotta do is just take your fingernail and rip it off. So it, it's down there. You can, well you could have seen it. It's right here. That little piece right there. I just ripped that thing off. So now I busted it. So it's right there. So now it's missing. And usually you only have to take one, you don't have to take both of them off. Uh, one's usually good enough. Already done a few of these. Now I'm putting this back on. Now you gotta remember when you put this back, this is your battery parts. Here, don't bend that. If you do, you just destroy it. So you just gotta lay it in there. Make sure you see the little metal points which is there, there, and there for the battery. Make sure it's totally flat where you start. Make sure it's in the hole. There it is. Pick up one screw, which I have two. That's why I said I got the shake, so makes it more challenging. And then you just wish you were 50 years younger. Okay. Screw the one in. I just screw it in lightly first. I don't torque it down at all until I get the other one in. Okay, got the other one here. Find the hole, which is right here. Now we're going to torque that one down right there. And the Phillips tip, by the way, is a triple O and torque that down. So now we have it down. So this is good, this is good. Now we're going to take the phone now we're going to take the phone it, uh, this one here is number two. So 
There, there's one, here's two. It says it don't work. Got to put the battery back in. So when you put the battery back in, make sure that you see those two pieces of metal right there. This, this end goes in first like that at an angle so you don't bend those prongs. Okay, now the battery's in. Now, we're going to push this, if I can. Push it with my fingernail. Okay, this is number two. There, I pushed it. I gotta push it again. There, it, it quit. So it found it. Now, if I go down here to volume, well, as you can tell, it don't beep. So we disabled the little piezo speaker. It's gone. So now put it back together is basically the same. We're going to take the battery out. It's always good to take the battery out that way so you don't damage these prongs. Now, this side over here, that little tab right there is your half moon switch. We, they, they've been using these half moon pieces of brass for probably 35 years. And it's got a little tip right here on the plastic for the switch part. That pushes down. So you take that and just pop it together. It goes on a heck of a lot easier than it does the other way. After you do that, take the battery, put it back in, just like that. So make sure it's in there good. And put the other plastic piece on here. There, there. Okay, now we're going to do another test. This is tag number two here, and I'm going to twice, kick it twice real fast. Then hopefully, yeah, found my phone. So, hit it twice again, and there it turned off. I, that would work. Now what we're going to do is send it a tone and show you that it still don't function. And right here is a volume. It's on high. Right there. And I hit the arrow right there. As you can see, let me try it again. Battery information. Oh, try it again. Oh, there it goes. So, it didn't make it ring, but when you hit it twice, there it is. Hit it twice again, and there it goes. Don't matter what you apply now. It don't work. Okay. So that takes care of this one. So that means if somebody looks to find this thing, they will find it with the, that app. Uh, if it's traveling with you, it will find it. The problem is, where is it? So if you got this in a side-by-side -side, or a tractor or a piece of equipment, trailer, they got to search that whole thing. They know it's there somewhere, they just don't know where. So as long as you hide it uh, in a good spot, you got it made. So that's my video on uh, how to eliminate the buzzer or speaker or piezo speaker from the smart tag. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance, if you would please subscribe to my channel. 
that would help us out. Thank you.